let me show you how to solve these volume of revolution problems by using the shell method. I always start these off by drawing out the 2D shape. In this case, we've got two equations for y. So if we draw those out, we can find the area where those intersect. Then the next thing we have to look at is where we're revolving this thing. In this case, we're revolving it around the y-axis. So if we do that, it's gonna look like two little hills when we revolve it around there. Since it looks like two little hills, that's a good hint that this should be a shell method question. So for the shell, we need a radius, we need a height, and we need a thickness, dt. In this case, that radius is just gonna be x, the height is gonna be y, and our thickness, dt, that's dx. So that tells us that we're integrating in terms of x, so we can put in our numbers zero and three, which are the bounds for that interval at the beginning. Then x, we just leave that alone, and y, we replace that with the equation for x. Now our last step is just to integrate this thing, and if we do that, we'll get 243 pi over 10.